we have a universe size comparison. They're starting real small with a sesame seed. And coin. An SD card is small. You think 5'7 is the average human height or the average woman height? 1.7 meters? I'm 1.65, so 5'5. Look at those disproportionately tiny arms. I like the comparison of unlike things. Shantungosaurus. I haven't heard of it. Okay, so they just shifted from height to length with the blue whale. I don't know about it either, but I guess they found one of those in Argentina. Dinosaur enthusiasts weigh in on that. Ooh, an Airbus A380. Airbus or Boeing? Leave your opinions. Boeing is going through it right now. A General Sherman is a sequoia, no? Where on earth can I find a Hyperion? I was just reading about the Statue of Unity and I forgot what country it's in. Tower. After that skyscraper video we watched, I was reading an article that got into how the Burj Khalifa was built in six years. Well, that is a jump. An even bigger jump. Wow. I didn't realize how much bigger Mount Everest actually is. Calisto and Mercury are pretty close. 80 kilometers difference?
I really like videos that show Earth in comparison to other things in the solar system and how small it really is. What is this? Oh, the sun, okay. Elna. Some of these are new to me, despite the amount of planet-related videos we watch. The music is perfect. Beetlejuice at 1.23 billion kilometers. What is this? Not a black hole. Oh, it is a supermassive black hole. In one of the other videos we were watching, they were theorizing that Ton 618 was the largest thing, or the largest black hole. videos from 2013 though. What is Horsehead Nebula? Not 2013, excuse me, 2023. At this point, it starts getting really insane for me to fathom that we know what is 1,862 light years away. Sleeping Beauty Galaxy, what a wholesome name. Okay. Milky Way. How many years from now do they say that the Milky Way is going to collide with Andromeda? Four billion? Five billion? Someone who knows, please write that down. It kind of has the shape of an anatomical heart.
Oh, okay, the observable universe. Well, that was a nice existential place to end up. What's past that? Who knows? This video was oddly satisfying to me, though. I liked the beginning when they were comparing random things. An ant, a banana, a double-decker bus, mountains, statues, and then ending up with huge planets and black holes and galaxies. And it gave me some things I want to look up, like some of the nebulas I was unfamiliar with. Or what was the black hole bigger than 10618? Phoenix A. I think it was. Yeah. I'll have to read about that after this. I see that this channel, it's called Global Data, I'll make sure to link it down below, also has a statue size comparison video, so let me know if you'd be into that because I'm interested, I want to watch it. If not, I guess I'll just catch it by myself. Other than that, leave your thoughts on this one. So after finishing The Island of Dr. Moreau, I continued on with H.G. Wells and ended up on his book called The Time Traveler. It's sci-fi and it's the story of a time traveler who comes to dinner. And I was reading that it's one of the first writings of a time traveler using a time machine in literature. It was written back in 1895. I think it is. It's very short, so not a big commitment. Next, I'm going to try The Invisible Man, which I have read when I was a child, but I think maybe I read it the way you read books that are assigned to you in school and you just kind of check out the spark notes. So I'll let you know how that goes. If you've read it, let me know what you think. Songs that I find existential dread inducing. The first one is Human Performance by Parquet Courts. They make post-punk garage experimental rock, according to the internet. But the lyrics on this one read like a poem. So that's the first choice. I've already recommended Planet Caravan by Black Sabbath, which I can't really explain why that's existential dread inducing, but something about the sound. To me, it sounds like they're underwater in that song. And then any John Moss gets me really in my head, but I'll choose Quantum Leap. This one's from the album called We Must Become the Pitiless Censors of Ourselves, which is a mouthful. He sings in a really low baritone mixed with synthesizers, so probably under the alternative umbrella. Another song that doesn't really induce existential dread, I just like it, is 93 to Infinity by Souls of Mischief. I said that word, mischief. That's 90s hip hop, just a random choice at the end. If you have songs to recommend to me, let me know. Or songs that you think, maybe you don't like the lyrics, but the music video is worth a watch. Tell me so I can watch it over on Patreon. Other than that, it's really all I have. So thank you for watching with me and I'll catch you next time.